What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video. Today you and I are going to be creating the perfect spring summer suit and we'll take a look at five different ways on how to style it. For that I partnered up with Suit Supply which I'm incredibly grateful for because Suit Supply is an awesome brand. I've had many of their suits and to me it's a spot where style and quality and value meet, but I've never had a custom-made suit. So today we'll be exploring that custom-made program on the Suit Supply website. And then, like I said, we'll take a look at a few styling ideas. So when I sat down, I thought about what this perfect suit would look like. For one, I knew it was gonna be blue or navy, just because I know that that color is gonna give me personally, with my wardrobe, the most versatility in what I can do with that suit. A second thing in terms of versatility is also the style of the suit itself, because I like wearing my suit sometimes more dressed up, sometimes more dressed down, so that's gonna impact a few of the decisions throughout the process. And then lastly, it's a spring and summer suit and we cannot not talk about fabrics when it comes to a suit in the summer because that can be really overwhelming. So I already know in the back of my head I'm gonna want something that's a bit more linen-y, something that's breathable and that's gonna keep me cool. So that's what I went in with and then I went on suitsupply.com. The website itself, absolutely beautiful and the custom-made program is actually really well laid out and really simple. It's hard to mess anything up. You go on suitsupply.com, click on custom-made and then it walks you through step-by-step -step for you to make your choices. So the fabric that I landed on is a medium blue wool, silk, linen blend. And the combination of those three fabrics really makes for a lot of comfort, good enough structure, breathability, and that's everything I'm looking for in a spring summer suit. I'm not gonna dive into all the different details because there's a bunch of customizations that you can make. I wanna point out that I went for a two button jacket because I think that's just a bit more modern rather than a three button or a double breasted suit, which is really just not that great for the summer. You just have that extra fabric that's gonna keep you even warmer, so that's not necessarily what we're looking for. And then I went for an unconstructed construction, which allows for just a little bit more flexibility, it looks a bit more natural, and that's what I sent over to Suit Supply, and then I went over to the store. This is what that looked like. And we're just outside the Suit Supply here in Century City in Los Angeles right now. I'm ready to pop inside, make sure all my selects made it in there, and then we get fitted for the suit to be made. So let's go. So I actually already made a lot of my selections online so I know in my head what I want so the primary reason for why I'm here today is to make sure that the fit is going to be right and everything is exactly how I imagine my perfect summer suit to look like. Taylor in New York, like we take a bit more out here, leave some room at the cab and then taper it back down. 100%, yeah. Um, yeah, mine too. yeah. So cool. like nice and along the leg. And that's how I get my suit pants to fit for all of you constantly asking me. <laughs> Quick and easy, straightforward, and honestly great customer service as well. So I really enjoyed my time here in LA. A couple weeks later, I'm in New York, and my suit arrives at the Madison Avenue location. So I went to pick that up. That visit was even shorter. And as promised, here we are back in the studio and I have my beautiful custom-made suit ready. The process at the Madison Avenue location was really, really quick because Suit Supply actually absolutely nailed it when it came to the first fitting. So there was no need to make any adjustments. All you had to do is open up a couple of the pockets and really just take a look, but everything was exactly on point. So now it's time for me to pop this one on and let's start talking about outfit number one. This first outfit shouldn't really come as a surprise. It's a classic way to be wearing a suit with a shirt, a tie, and in this case I'm wearing a pair of Capto brown derbies. Absolutely incredibly in love with how this fits. That's the beauty of a custom made suit. It's just gonna feel different and look different than a off the rack suit even if you bring it to the tailor, this is just something that, like it's made for you and it shows. It feels ultra light because it's unconstructed so you can see that there's really no extra lining. It's really just the fabric itself. And then I chose to wear it with a brown tie. Underneath I have this beautiful custom made suit supply shirt. Crisp, white, classic, perfectly fitted, obviously. And as you can see, I picked up the brown with 
the shoes. Um, wearing brown socks, you could honestly ditch the socks if you wanted to go for the no sock look. Obviously always a no show sock look, not ever an actual no sock look. In shoes like these you will torture yourself. But it's a beautiful, straightforward, classic outfit that is gonna make you look really dapper. But like I said, it's all about versatility. So let's look at loosening this aesthetic up a tiny bit and go a little bit more casual. For look number two, we're in a really nice tan and blue combo. I'm wearing a pair of suede tan loafers and up top a knitted tan polo shirt underneath the suit jacket. You can see that the entire vibe of the suit immediately gets a lot more relaxed. It also feels a lot more summer appropriate immediately because without the tie and without a collar all the way up to my neck, it feels a lot more breathable. And you'll notice how the suit really transitions very easily from the more classic to this more laid back feel. A lot of it is because of the fabric itself, but also the construction. And it's something I just really appreciate to have that stylistic flexibility. One thing I want to point out with the button specifically is that I went for a button that is kind of like an off-white-ish but also has some black in there. So what that does for me is it opens up the door with the off-white into all of the earth tones. So that's gonna look fairly natural, but at the same time, if I wanted to wear a black shirt and black dress shoes with it, it would still work because the buttons also reflect that. So that's the beauty of creating your very own suit is you have control over all these small details that really can make the difference in making this your ultimate go-to suit. For look number three, we're going one step even more casual, almost a bit sporty. We've got white sneakers, a simple white t-shirt, and then you'll notice that I also pushed up my sleeves. I just think personally that that works a bit better for a look this casual. I did still tuck in my t-shirt. To me, that's just, it just looks a bit more neat than if you just have the t-shirt hanging out. And then another big note, when you're trying to wear a suit, with sneakers. Please don't wear your worn out old chunky sneakers. I think for something like that you need a clean white sneaker and by clean I don't necessarily mean clean looking, I mean clean in terms of the design. Straightforward, nice lines, slim fitting and then even the suit itself has to be a more slim fit, a more modern fit for that look to work. So if you're just trying to make your 90s fight eye suit work with sneakers, that's probably not gonna work out. So that's just a little side note. I have a whole video on how to wear suits with sneakers if you guys wanna check that out. But for this look right here, I'm really I'm really just so happy with the suit. It just goes so easily, like I said, with the very classic, with a bit more casual, even with something as simple as this. The different colors in the fabric make this look overall a lot more interesting than if it was a straightforward navy suit because there's a little bit of like specks of white in there that actually is playing off of the t-shirt as well as the sneakers. So as simple as this is, a suit, a t-shirt, and some sneakers, I think is a standard. Out look. Now for the next two looks we're exploring wearing the suit jacket and the pants separately. If you're talking to suit menswear tailoring purists, they'll tell you don't break your suit apart because technically if you wear the pants more than your jacket, it could get washed out by the sun, it could get just a little bit more worn out and it starts looking off. Honestly, I've been doing this for years and I personally have never had that type of experience. So I've been wearing my suits separately. I just wanted to point this out in case somebody calls you out for it. Say you know and you don't care. So right here for this look, I've got the suit jacket on on top of a denim shirt. Here I actually chose to wear it untucked because the overall vibe of the look now is a lot more casual, almost a bit streetwear edgy. Not like streetwear streetwear, but you know what I'm saying. I'm wearing a pair of off-white jeans and then a pair of navy and white sneakers to pick back up on the navy as well as the white in the blazer. Another thing you'll notice is that I actually cuffed up my sleeves a little bit. That's the beauty of having functional buttonholes, which is another selection you can make on the Suit Supply website as you're designing your suit. So this allows for me to just more easily cuff this up and like, I really like this look. Definitely a bit more stylized, but I just want you to know that there is an option to do that and for that you'll need functioning buttonholes, which also tends to be a general sign of a quality suit. Overall, really quick, we've got off-white and then a bunch of different blues, which I think is a nice, straightforward, easy way to pull this off. Last but not least, we just looked at the jacket separately so let's look at the pants separately since they are a linen blend you can see that this overall look is very beachy and I think it works really well for that I don't love the super white linen pants for most of the looks I like wearing the linen aesthetic but still having a bit more of a tailored vibe to it so these pants are absolutely perfect for that I'm wearing a pair of suede slides with the look and up top I'm wearing a ripped tank top which is tucked in and on top of that another linen blend shirt in white and yellow. Yellow is a beautifully complementary color to the blue and overall it's just a really nice relaxed look that still has like that tailored essence. One thing I want to point out with the pants themselves is that I went for side adjusters over belt loops. That's one of the things I pretty much always do when I make my own suits specifically pants, just because I think it's a lot cleaner to wear this look without the belt. I'm not the biggest believer in belts. Um, you may be and that's fine, but I think the side adjusters are just a really classy, 
unique way to be adjusting your pants so they fit perfectly without adding much cluttering detail. And with that, we end today's video. If you've made it this far, you can officially call yourself a suit fanatic. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed this video, the thought process, the production process, as well as the styling process. I hope it gave you guys some ideas. If you fell in love with suit supply, this suit specifically, or obviously any other suit that you might want to make, go check out their website. I'm going to post down below in the description all the selections that I made for the suit. If you actually do want to replicate it, don't worry, you're not going to get the exact suit. It's going to be fitted to your body perfectly. If you guys have any questions, leave those down below in the comments. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye guys.